Hey, VV Nation, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest, and I've got another great video pertaining to what's going on in the market right now. This video is entitled, Five Simple Steps to Trading in a Downtrending Market. Now, where does this all stem from? Well, in a most recent live stream, I asked the question, how many of you VectorVest subscribers are not making money in the market? And surprisingly, a lot of people, more than I thought, said that they were not making money in the market. Now, how about you guys who are not subscribers to the software? How can you turn your portfolios around right now, especially if you're not making money in the market? Folks, this is going to be a hard, fast video. It's going to give you five steps in order to do better in a downtrending market. And it all starts with step one. Step one is market trend. Market trend is the most important thing because you need to be on the right side of the market and not be caught out with all of the head fakes that are going on and start, start doing things that you shouldn't be doing in your portfolio that causes you to lose money. So let's start there. So from that standpoint, here we go. We've got our market timing graph and our market timing graph is now all about what's going on. We use something called the VVC or Vector Vest Composite. And along with that, we do have market timing. Depending on how you invest in the market, there's a market timing signal for every type of investor in the market. But we're not going to talk about that too much today because as a subscriber to the software, you have access to that. Without that, well, you know something? We do offer a trial for 99 cents for 30 days so that you can get some great market timing information that you're not going to find anywhere else. But let's talk about what we see. Here we see from this most recent August high, market pulling back. The market did bounce above that downtrend. And what did it do? Very quickly went back below that downtrend. Most recently, we broke above that downtrend again. And look at today's action. Today's action brings us back below that downtrend. Overall, people, the market is in a downtrend with all of the negativity that's going on. Let's move this out a little bit more. From the November high, look at that overarching downtrend as well. Where are we? Below that. Here's a trend line here or a level of resistance, which goes all the way back to the COVID high. Where are we? We're below that as well. So, if any of you are trying to bet against the market and move your portfolios higher by going against the market, I'm going to show you how you can better effectively do that. But I'm not going to suggest that any of you try to go against the market. But if any of you are not comfortable shorting stocks or options, I'm going to give you the best place that you can be. That if you do want to find stocks that are going against the trend, I'm going to put you in the best place possible position. All right. So that's step one. Overall, we're in a downtrending market. If you're trying to play the upside, even when the market's going down, that's going to affect your portfolio adversely. So talking about that, let's talk about possibly some of the stocks that you own. I'm going to go into our viewers tab. I've created a watch list of some of the most heavily traded stocks out there. Delta, Tesla, Tesla came in with bad news in regards to earnings. Earnings, they got hit. Now, they beat, but I think it's forward guy. A anyway, it's going down a lot. And if you own that, you've got to make decisions on those stocks. Not only that, it's a sell recommendation. So one of the you know uh, other things that I do uh, if with step two called weeding the garden, what you need to do is take a realistic approach to the stocks that you own. If you put them into a vector vest watch list, and you see some of your stocks have sell recommendations. Notice that with the market's downtrend, none of these have buy recommendations, which should be telling you a story right then and there. It's tough to be in these stocks, even though you think they're great stocks, and they probably are. A lot of them have good upside potential. But you know something? There's a bad time to be in a good stock. So with that, if I'm going to weed my garden, I'm going to select uh, on uh, recommendation, the three stocks that have the sell recommendations are probably the stocks that are hurting my portfolio the most, and I probably want to get out of them. All right, I'm going to suggest that you close out of them. But a lot of you go, uh-uh, uh-uh, I own these long-term, and I'm not getting rid of them right now. I'll talk a little bit about that in a second. But from a realistic standpoint, if they have sell recommendations, they're definitely hurting your portfolio. All right, so you should think about getting out of them or, or, Let's go to step three, which is to take some protective measures. If you are real bent on not getting out of these stocks, 
need to do some things like learn how to play options, buy a protective put, sell a covered call. The two easiest option trades that you can do need to be considered. If I want to hold on to Ford or Neo or Tesla, even though they're sell recommendations, protect yourself, absorb some of that downplay in the stock by taking in premiums, by selling a covered call or buying a protective put, which puts money into your portfolio as these stocks go down in value. What it does is it helps you to absorb some of that price decline. All right, so that's step number three. Now, another step in here in protecting uh, your portfolio is learn to play contra ETFs. I'm gonna go to the Unisearch tool. Here we have in our unit search tool, a folder called ETFs. We have buying contra ETFs. Now, a statement came out in the comments and said, well, you need to let us know exactly which contra ETFs we need to play. I'm going to cover that real quick. So because many of you are not subscribers, we track a lot of contra ETFs, but I'm only looking at the top five. NRGD, oil, drip, three of them are oil plays, bearish plays, ERY on energy. And then we have AAPD. So those are the top five country ETFs to look at. If you want us to hold your hand a little bit more, we can. Let's say you want to find the contras where two moving averages have crossed to alert you that these are the contras that are moving on right now. If you have ProTrader, you can do this. You can go to stocks, price volume, price split adjusted. Let's go to ProTrader. Let's use an EMA. And you know me, I like to use the three and the eight. Let's go to three, crossing above the eight over the last two days. Now, you want to be able to pinpoint which contras to get into right now. Let me run this again. All right. Now, not only are these uh, ETFs over a dollar, average volume grade 100,000 shares, but now these are the three crossing above the eight. I'm taking that same search and now pinpointing which ones have the three crossing above the eight. Got a couple of different stocks in here. That's a great way to hone in on which country ETFs to take advantage of at any given time when the time is right. All right, so that's step number three. Step number four, if you are not comfortable playing options, you're not comfortable playing country ETFs, where do you go to find stocks to buy right now? Step number four is to look for trending stocks. We've got a search in here. Uh, in the Unisearch tool under cherry picking called Midas Touch. Midas Touch VST Descending. I'm going to double click that and run it as of right now. I'm going to run it as of right now. And the top five stocks that are going against the market's trend, energy, healthcare, energy, YPF, energy. Well, that makes sense, right? Energy is the move that's pushing all of these stocks higher in the current trend. We're still overall bearish. But all of these bounces that we've had, these relief rallies, have been energy stocks. Let's take a look at these. Let's go take a look at this on a graph. Put these on a three-month graph. And again, these are for the people who want to stay longer term and they don't want to play contras or they don't want to play options. Matador, look at that earnings per share. Look at that pop in dividends. I like that. Um, today is down. How many of you get scared and get out of it? Oh, it's above a 20-day exponential moving average. I want to look at these as longer-term plays, as swing trade plays, because I don't want to buy contras and I don't want to do options. Which stocks are moving up? Bottom left, top right, a little bit of a pullback here, but currently moving higher. A down day today, but still above the 20-day exponential moving average and above a level of current support. Just because it's down doesn't mean you panic. That's why you should always know when you're going to get out of a stock. Next one. Wow. CCRM. Look at that earnings per share. Look at that graph going against the market. Look at that. Just recently coming off of a three month high, still updated a above the 20 day exponential moving average. Next one. PBF petroleum refining above the 20 day hitting a new three month high. Look at that earnings per share. Remember, earnings is the engine that drives the stock's price higher. Wow. YPF, bottom left, top right, in a channel right now, but above the 20-day exponential moving average, approaching a level of resistance, which represents the three-month high. And one more, ConocoPhillips, bottom left, top right, look at that earnings per share, uh, new high over the last three months as well. All right, let's get to step four. Step four would be dividend plays. So we have a search in the system for that as well. Let's go to... Um, search is conservative. Look at this dividend plays 
dividend payers. Let's go to dividend plays. Let's double click on that. Top five, these are stocks that will put passive income into your portfolio. FANG, CTRA, PXD, GRIN, uh, VOC. Let's graph these all real quick. Let's go see on the three-month graph. Now, remember, these are dividend plays. Bottom left, top right, three-month high, above the 20. Look at the pop in dividend. Next one. Now, this one is a little tricky. CTRA, I would still say run the search and cherry pick to go through. But look at the pop in dividends. Look at the earnings per share. Let's go here. PXD, broke through a level of resistance above the 20-day earnings per share, pop in dividends. And wow, look at this grin. Be careful with this leveling out right now. Pop in dividends. And the last one is VOC, another petroleum stock, pop in dividends. Folks, this five steps, five steps in those dividend plays is step number five. Five steps in being able to take advantage of a downtrending market to help yourself make money. Very simple. Simple doesn't always mean easy, but it does mean easier in helping you to make money. Folks, this video is over. And until the next time, see ya. Yeah.